I, here's the thing. I think the idea is incredible and I'm excited and I think people are going to be uh, into it. Do I also think that it's vague and invites um, a little bit too much self-criticism uh, into our lives, something that we probably don't need? Yes, I do. Yes, that is something that we're aware of that we're putting at the front front of our brains. Our prefrontal yeah. cortexes are full of that. Yeah, it's not by the alligator part. No. No. It's by the it's by the human human uh, child part because that's those are the two parts of my brain. We have alligator and then the uh, baby. And for our listeners, alligators in the back, babies in the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want that haircut. I want that. <laughs> you can you imagine going, can I just get baby in the front, alligator in the back? And oh they'd be like, God. say no, say no more. <laughs> Say no more. Oh my God. And then it'll go like every haircut I've ever gotten and I will secretly be screaming inside, but out loud I'll be like, that's great. <laughs> okay, Here, here's what it is though. Are you ready for like what that looks like? It's literally just like, they like, um, they like burn the back of your scalp so that it looks like scales and then one curly Q. Oh my God. Right, at the, right at the top. We need a new name. We need a tighter name for it. Um, um, mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the screw, screw up the haircut. <laughs> that, that's what everyone else is going to be calling it. That's yeah. what everyone else will be calling it. And phrases can be many things now. Phrases can be nail polish names and phrases can be um, oil oh. names, like the, the sexy oil perfumes that people wear when they're really cool. Sexy oil perfumes. Yeah, you get people... them at the flea market. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have not been using any oil when I'm sexy. Is that fine? Oh no, I don't. I think I the oil is to attract partners. Oh yeah, well, whatever I'm wearing is repelling. On pheromones. On oh, oh, <laughs> that's what you're talking about. Oh, there's plenty of fish in the sea, and that sucks. <laughs> 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 and they all smell like shit. They all smell like fish, honestly. <laughs> they all smell like fish. Nobody said that they would. the fish would smell like fish. Yes. God, oh and, it, and you gotta debone them. Nobody ever tells you, they're like, when you get in a relationship, they're like, it's all about communication. But nobody tells you, you gotta take a knife to that fucker. Right. And do you know how oh, easy wait. it is to debone someone when you have unpheromones? <laughs> Do you yeah. know how hard it's to debone someone when you're in the middle of boning someone? It's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> All of this. I didn't have any peaks yet. But I don't, yeah, no, I, I was still going through puberty. My peaks hadn't. Uh, <laughs> my peaks were very sensitive in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> my pepperoni peaks. <laughs> um, but I, I actually don't agree with that. I think the 90s are like, whenever I talk to people, <laughs> you're like still on, you're like, oh it's no. It's so hard for me to move past this stuff quickly and I'm trying for the podcast sake, but CJ can see me crying tears <laughs> at the phrase pepperoni peaks. It's just like they're cupped with like a little, little you know when you put on like moisturizer and then they get, it gets stuck in the cup. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep dish. Groom's dogs. She put little rubber band bows in their hair, and she'd do the same for me as I was raised as a dog. And <laughs> <laughs> are you familiar with Pippi Longstocking? Yes, that was my name. That is all I can. <laughs> Just kidding. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, I've definitely been called Pippi many a time. What? Maybe it's the adjective though. That's oh, like Peppy, but then they were saying it like Southern, so it was like Pippi. He's so pee. Yeah. <laughs> like a pee. Okay, so are you familiar with the phenomenon that is the pocket monsters, the Pokemon? I'm for, oh, is that I didn't know that's what it stood for. Pocket monsters, yeah. But yes, I'm very well, obviously not as familiar as I thought. <laughs> I've got a pocket Video monster, games. you know what I mean? It's oh, no. it's not it's not what you think it is. It's just a bunch of uh, melted down Werther's originals that are stuck together that I can't get unstuck. But you know, <laughs> that's it's my still fun to suck on. <laughs> I was telling myself the serenity prayer, and um, the you know, grant me the courage to accept the things I can't change, and the and the you know, etc. I've said it a million times, and I can't remember I it now. But I, I like the last I don't know part. The yeah, the lyrics, yes, oh my God, oh my God. But it's uh, Grammy the Serenity, accept the things I can't change, which is all of our past mistakes, um, and the courage to change the things I can, 
And as I get to that part, every time I'm like, I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to change and what I'm not. And then the next line is the wisdom to know the difference, which comes with experience, which is what we're talking about now. That is so funny that every single time you're like, well, how am I supposed to? And then literally you're yes. like, oh, read right. three more and words. So <laughs> Yeah. And that's what we're trying to impart here. A little yeah. bit of wisdom. And what did we learn? We learned that it's okay to cut your hair and it's okay to steal from children. Fuck that eight year old. <laughs>